Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for being here with me today. In today's video, I'm going to be going through what sold for me two weeks ago, so May 12th through May 18th. I made a sale on every one of my reselling platforms, so that is great. Let's jump right into it and see what I sold. Okay, so I'm trying out a new screen recording software. So I decided to use their showing my face feature. I'm recording this on the couch for you guys. I'm going to start off with Depop where I made one sale. This is a pair of Clark's Women's Black Rated Leather Cushion Sandals Slides Slip-Ons Size 9 Medium. In my tags, I put Summer Spring Comfort Quality Neutral Staple Shoes Beach Vacation and Resort Wear. I also put Contemporary Minimalist and Casual. I bought these from the Goodwill outlet for around two to three dollars, and I originally had them listed for thirty-five dollars. Someone made me a twenty-five dollar, a twenty-five dollar fifty cent offer, and I accepted that. The reason I picked these up was because they are Clark's, which are a nice brand, but I really only pick up Clark's at the Goodwill outlet. I feel like paying a little bit more for them at the regular thrift store just isn't worth it because in my experience, Clark's don't sell for a ton. Like these only sold for $25, but that's great in my book because I paid 2 to $3 for them. I just thought these were so cute. They're a really cute pair of Clark's. Some Clark's can look very but like they're made for the older generation, but these are really cute and they have this really cute braided detailing and they're leather and they're cushioned. So yeah, these took almost two months to sell and I think it was a great little sale on Depop. Let's move on to Mercari where I sold this pair of Madewell jeans. This is my second pair of Madewell jeans, Madewell skinny jeans that I've ever sold on Mercari. I've never sold Madewell jeans on any other platform, but I have found luck selling Madewell jeans on Mercari for some reason. This is a pair of Madewell light wash, nine inch mid-rise skinny crop jeans in cool max denim size 28. In my tags, I put stretch, breathable, neutral, cute, staple piece, all seasons, and light blue. I picked these up from Deseret Industries for, I believe, $6, and I originally had them listed for $35. I sent out an offer to my Likers, and someone accepted my $25.52 offer, which is great. This took a little less than a month to sell, so a pretty quick sale. These are a pair of skinny jeans, which aren't in style, but the reason I picked them up was because they are a lighter wash, which I feel like is more desirable, and they were also cropped, which I also feel like is more desirable than just a regular pair of long skinny jeans. I would pick these up again. I don't think I'd go lower than a size 28 though, because I don't know, larger sizes do better and I'm a size 28. So I feel like anything higher than me is great because there just aren't a lot of tiny people out there. I mean, there are, that's why there is clothing made for them, but there's definitely more average to larger sized people out there. The other thing that I sold on Mercari was this pair of Calvin Klein men's black leather Brody Derby lace-up dress shoes, size 14. I got these from the Goodwill outlet for around 2 to $3. In my description, I put professional, classy, classic, church, funeral, wedding, formal, quality, sleek, office, and businessman. These took around two weeks to sell. I originally had them listed for $38, and when someone sent me a $31 offer, I accepted. I thought that was very fair. I picked these up because they are in a larger size and they're essentially brand new. They're just a little bit squished. I think brand new these sell for like $99. So I feel like it was a steal of a deal for whoever bought these. They're really just a nice pair of men's Calvin Klein lace-up dress shoes. I would definitely pick these up again. They sold quickly. They're handsome. And I love finding shoes at the bins, like I always say, but it is so true. Let's move on to eBay now. So this is a super fun sale. I bought this from Desert Industries, I think like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. It was a very quick sale. It's this Oi Maikai, probably saying that wrong, but it's an Oi Maikai vintage 60s orange red Hawaiian floral long maxi dress mumu, size large to extra large. That size was an estimation based on measurements. In my description, I put white, pink, elegant, Hawaii, tropical resort, vacation, Oahu, Maui, Kauai, Lanai, princess, modest, travel, colorful, bright, and beautiful. I bought this for $8, and the reason I bought it was because I know that vintage Hawaiian dresses are 
very popular right now and they're selling for good money. I actually looked up this specific brand on eBay and the sell-through rate was good as well as the amount that they were selling for. I saw that the ones that were going for the most money had Moomoo in the title. So I made sure to include that in my title. I had mine listed for $80 and it sold for $80. So I really am happy about the sale and I'm keeping my eye out for more vintage Hawaiian dresses because that was incredible. A quick $80 into my pocket. I mean, subtract fees and my cost of goods, but really great. So if you've seen any of my other What Sold videos, you'll see that I recently sold the other Argus projector that I had. This is the exact same thing. It's just the vintage projector model three slide working case original projector. But this one actually sold for more money than the other one. And I didn't think that this was going to sell because it had few different parts than the other one, but this sold for more on a promoted listing, $50. I bought it for $15 at Desert Industries back in December. And this one was in working condition. There was some wear and tear. I said all those things. I've changed my tune. I would pick this up again in the future because this one sold pretty quickly after I sold the other one. I don't understand why they were both sitting and then they sold very close to each other in time frame. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, I would pick that up again. I think it was a cool sale, even though it did take half of a year almost to sell. This next piece was a style-based pickup. And when I bought it, I actually didn't realize that it was Gloria Vanderbilt. It's kind of spilled out there in tiny cursive. I just saw the GV chinos and I saw that it was a thick denim material and it was button up and it was a mid-size and it was midi length and tie-dye and all those factors made me buy it. But it's this Gloria Vanderbilt woman's blue white tie-dye button up midi skirt size 10 in my description or in my tags I put modest skirt, coastal vacation skirt, festival skirt, skirt with pockets and cute skirt. I paid $5 for this and I originally had it listed for $36. This was a promoted listing and it sold for $30. Someone offered me $30 and I thought, yes, I will take that. This took, I think, two and a half months to sell and I would pick it up again. It's just such a cute piece and even better if I can find it at the Goodwill bins next time. Gloria Vanderbilt, in general, the brand isn't great. I purely picked that up for style. Gloria Vanderbilt is definitely oversaturated even in thrift stores. This is a pair of men's Echo brown leather slip-on loafers, size 12 or size 46. In my description, I didn't really put anything. I just said that they have minimal wear and that there's nothing coming apart, but they were pretty squished. I bought these for $10 back in January, and I had them listed for $30 in a promoted listing, and someone offered me $19, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to accept it. I might have been able to get more for these had I had like a shoe insert that made the shoes look more desirable. I'm not really picking up Echo very much anymore. I actually haven't come across it either. I don't know. This was a nice pair of shoes and maybe I could have gotten more for them had I held out or taken different pictures, but just happy to make this sell. Wouldn't pick them up again. Okay, this is a really, really cute sale. This is from the bins as well. And this sold in, I think, a week and a half. It's this vintage 1950s Moto Day yellow white front bow sleeveless dress, size small. I paid a dollar for at the bins and I had it listed for $35. It sold for $35. $35 for a vintage mini dress is crazy. In my tags, they put 40s, 50s, 60s, floral, empire waist, girly, twirl, California, vacay, vacation, and summer. When I bought this, I didn't realize that it was from the 1950s. I didn't realize it was that vintage. This is such a beautiful dainty piece. That's why I picked it up. I knew it was going to be cheap and I didn't realize how fast it was going to sell, but it did. Would definitely pick this up in the future. It's such a unique piece. Okay, last thing I sold on eBay. This is a brand to know. Know this brand. The brand is Dries Van Noten. It's very unassuming. The tag does not stand out at all. It kind of just looks like a department store brand, but it's Dries Van Noten. And this is a light green ruffle detail, collared button up dress shirt, size 44. In my description, I put quality, breathable, and spring. I believe this sold in less than three weeks. I bought it from Desert Industries for $6, and I originally had it listed for $80, and someone offered me $55. I accepted because I just wanted to make money. These can go for a lot more. And I actually found this in the women's section, even though it's a men's shirt. And it did have a 
teeny tiny little spot. I'm talking teeny tiny, but I don't want to try to get it out and ruin the $600 shirt. So I just left it and let it sold very quickly. Definitely keep your eyes up for the brand Dries Van Noten. I came across it and I thought to myself, I that brand sounds familiar to me. Okay, let's move on to Poshmark. Okay, so I thought this was going to sell a lot faster than it did and for more money, but I'm glad I made the sell. It's this vintage 90s Catherine Dean flower floral rainbow color plus size 16 maxi dress. In my tags, I put spring, summer, flowy, girly, feminine, 80s, 90s, and button down. I also said that it was 100% rayon. I feel like rayon is a nice material makeup. Not as nice as linen, but I feel like it's a desired material makeup definitely over polyester and maybe even a step above cotton, just regular old cotton, not Pima cotton or anything. I bought this at Deseret Industries around three months ago. I paid $8 for it. I think maybe I paid $6. Somewhere around that range, I originally had it listed for $50 and then I lowered it to $45. And when someone sent me a $30 offer, I accepted. The reason I picked this up was for several reasons. First of all, it is a plus size. It's also button up all the way down and it's maxi length and it's just so cute and floral and colorful. I absolutely love it. It did have a ton of interest and then I relisted it a few times. Finally, it sold for $30. Would pick that up again. I'd say that I wouldn't, but I know myself, I would pick something like that up again and maybe regret it, maybe not. <laughs> okay, this next thing I got around two and a half months ago at the other side thrift boutique. It's this Freebird men's black lace-up leather side zip ankle Orion moto boot size nine. In my tags, I just put handsome boots and handcrafted. I originally had these listed for $115, then I lowered that to $95, and someone sent me a $65 offer, which I thought was fair, especially because there was creasing. But yeah, I accepted that offer, and I'm really happy I made that sale. Can't wait to find Freebird again, because I will definitely pick it up in the future. All right, this is another bins find. I bought this, I think, around two weeks ago. This is Anthropology Akemi Plus Kin Narberth Red Aztec A-Line Knit Midi Skirt Size Extra Small. I paid around $2 for this and I had it listed at $35, but two weeks ago when I was going through and trying to make some money, I offered like the three or two likers that I had on this item $25 with $4.99 shipping and someone accepted that and it sold to them. I did have to do a little bit of sweater shaving for this item, but I found it at the bins and I thought it was so cute and fun and unique. was able to find this great stock photo in my tags. They put statement piece, stretchy, elastic waistband, flowy, beautiful details, dress up or down, colorful and modest. Would pick that one up again. I'm surprised it sold so quickly too. I mean, I did offer them a great discount, but it was a size extra small, which I tried to avoid. This is another bin spined shocker. So this is a the sack iridescent shiny gray silver purple adjustable strap purse. In my tags, I put everyday purse, pretty purse, travel purse, lots of pockets, long strap, neutral purse, shoulder bag, and crossbody. I originally had this listed for, I think, a little more than $20, and I accepted a $15 offer. I actually bought it with the intention of trying to get the stains out, but the stains did not come out, and they're like grease stains, I assume, from being in the bins. So I would not pick up this particular purse again, but it's so cute, and the reason I got it was because it was kind of metallic, and it looks brand new on the inside. I feel like the sack is a good purse brand to look out for if you can buy it for cheap enough. And that sold within less than a month, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, less than a month or maybe a little bit more than a month. This next thing is also a bins find. I had to do a little bit cleaning up of these shoes. I did have to do some cleanup and there were no laces, but I got them to look in pretty great condition. I paid around $3 for them. Someone offered me $29 and I accepted. Would pick those up again. It's funny because there was a Goodwill tag on these shoes and Goodwill had marked them at $19.99 for a dirty pair of sneakers without laces. And I'm so glad that they actually marked them up because then they were sent to the bins and I was able to smash them up. So keep doing that, Goodwill. I will not be upset unless I'm shopping at Goodwill and I'm there firsthand, but usually I'm at the Goodwill outlet. This next thing I bought around, a little less than a month ago is this beautiful dress. It's from Alex Evenings. It's blue sequin plus cocktail dress, rosette, lace cap sleeves, size 16. In my tags, I put formal, modest, knee length, midi, 
Sparkle Glam Wedding Bridesmaid Mother of the Bride and Awards Dinner. I paid $8 for this about, or maybe it was $9, but I think I had a coupon or a discount. I originally had it listed at $65. Someone offered me $45 and I accepted. I thought that was great for a midi dress. There are just so many beautiful details to this dress. It was originally $239. And this is actually reminds me of Bridgerton, which is a Netflix show that just came out with their third season and it's very popular and trendy right now. So if this hadn't have sold, I might have added Bridgerton to that, to my tags to try to get a sale. Because if there's ever a new kind of show that's come out that is very popular and trending, or if there's a celebrity that's wearing something trendy, I try to include that in my listing if I find a similar item. This is also another Vince find. This sold in less than two weeks. It's this Victoria's Secret Sport Black Angel Max Comfort Fitness Supportive Bra, size 38 double D. In my tags, I put athleisure, active, active wear, gym, workout, yoga, neutral, and running. I paid around a dollar for this, and I think I had it listed at $20. I accepted a $15 offer. I picked up this item because it was in excellent condition, a larger size, and I feel like Victoria's Secret bras, I wouldn't usually resell even if I got them from the bins. This is kind of a sports bra more, and it's really cute. It could even just be worn as like a shirt to the gym. Would pick that up again. Okay, I think we have two more things to go through. I picked this up closer to the beginning of this year. So it has been a few months, but this is a pair of Buckle Hidden Brand Women's Medium Wash High Waisted Wide Leg Dad Jeans, size 26. And I a lot of my description I got directly from Buckle's website, but there are keywords like throwback, slouchy, relaxed fit, favorite, vintage denim, rigid, looser, bigger, relaxed through the hip and thigh, fades beautifully. And then in my own tags, I put trendy jeans, dad jeans, loose fit jeans, vacation jeans, and school jeans. These were in a smaller size. And I know that Buckles jeans are expensive, like they're over $50, but I don't think they really resell well. So I'm just glad that they sold for $22, even though I paid $7.99 for them. I think I originally listed them for $35. $35. They are a really cute pair of jeans, and that's why I ultimately decided to get them, even though they were a smaller size, because they're wide leg and they're baggy and distressed. Okay, let's go to the last thing. I would not pick up those buckle jeans again, and I don't really pick up buckle jeans in the different brands that buckle sales. This is actually the last thing. It is currently going to be returned because I made a mistake. I put 8.5 medium when it's actually an 8.5 narrow, and I just couldn't tell because the font is so tiny. So that was my mistake. I approved a return. This is a pair of Soft Woman's Black Leather Classic Round Toe Professional Pumps Heels, size 8.5. In my tags, I put classy, neutral, minimalist, church shoes, office, wedding, formal, work, arch support, elastic outer, slip-on, and ballet heel. Bought these from the Goodwill outlet for around two to three dollars. Had them originally listed for I think thirty eight dollars. I accepted a thirty dollar offer. These did have quite a lot of interest. I feel like I don't think it was on this platform, but they did have interest on other platforms. And they're just a really nice pair of leather heels from the brand Soft, which I have found success in. This brand, the brand Soft. So hopefully once I get these returned, I can fix my mistake and then get them sold again quickly. This first sale, though, I think was within a couple of weeks. So I'm hoping that I can sell them within another couple of weeks. Anyway, that is everything. That is all. Hey, thank you so much for watching this What's Hold video. I hope you enjoyed it. It is Memorial Day right now, and I just finished editing this What's Hold video for you guys, and I realized I don't have an outro video, so I'm recording this outro video on my computer. But yeah, with it being Memorial Day, I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day. Spend some time with your family. I can't wait to see you guys in the next What's Hold video. Bye.